David Hamilton Grant is the most notorious character in the entire history of the film industry. A man of mystery quite unlike any other. Take one, take one. I would call Grant a pioneer of all kinds of sexploitation in this country. I don't think he was a, a man of immense moral standing. Most films, they want you to strip off now. Now you have to take your clothes off. What? In those days, that was called the casting couch, and if you weren't interested, well, that was it. We'll do another take for the foreign version. David Hamilton Grant, he doctored these films after they were made, and he used porn actors and actresses to do sex scenes in them. Films like that were popular because you couldn't get this kind of stuff in the other place. An evening watching the telly will never be the same again, I promise you. It was left to new companies to flood the market with all sorts of horror and exploitation. One company was David Hamilton Grant's World of Video 2000. David Grant's idea was that maybe he could find a loophole in the censor laws in the UK. He was a troublemaker. He was actually trying to distribute some of the films which would in fact become called video nasties. He didn't think they were particularly harmful. He used to joke about it. Prepare yourself for the most intensely shocking motion picture of our time. Nightmare in a damaged brain. If the film was on that list, you could be prosecuted. The obscene publication squad go to the distributors. He is the only film distributor who was sent to prison for releasing a movie. His last official sighting in the UK was in 1988. Everything just suddenly spirals out of control. Hamilton Grant had used his premises to deal drugs and shoot pornography with local children. Why haven't you arrested Grant for child pornography? Three people told me that he was dead, and two of them said that they suspected it was murder. 